Okay, students, we are ready to start. So I want to explain to you what you're going to be doing. Please make sure you have your lab notebooks in front of you and have your data table ready and record time versus temperature for every one of these trials that we're going to do. I have a timer here. You can record it in seconds and then once it goes over a minute, it will show you minutes and seconds. The idea is to record the temperature every 15 seconds. Right now, my temp thermometer reads 16.5 degrees Celsius. This is a wireless thermometer, very convenient. And I've inserted it through a, a styrofoam lid. This is just a basic styrofoam that I call calorimeter. And there are basically, this is just two cups doubled up together to give you better insulation. And the idea is to pour the chemicals inside, start the timer, and the reaction starts, and I'm going to be measuring the temperature while mixing. So my, my job is to mix for you, and your job is to record the temperature and time. And uh, there is my ammonium nitrate that I've emptied out from the cold pack. So I'm going to take essentially just like one spoonful, but we need to measure the mass. So the idea is to measure the mass and we're going to work with the masses of everything so let's first get the mass of water uh, to uh, dispense out the, the approximate right amount of water i basically taken 50 milliliters of water and i'm going to again mass is more important now i'm going to measure the mass of this calorimeter with the lid and thermometer because once the reaction is over there would be some liquid that would be stuck to this metal part here. And if I take this off and then measure the mass, you're gonna lose out the mass of that portion of whatever that liquid solution weighs. So let's go ahead and do it together. So I'm going to measure this mass, but the idea is to measure the mass of solution and water. So I'm gonna zero the mass of the scale or the, the item on the scale. And then I'm gonna pour in my 50 milliliters of water so please record this mass. This is the mass of the water. So it's 49.34 grams. So you, um, you can see that the density is roughly less than one because 49.34 grams in 50 milliliter roughly is a density of less than one. But anyway, the mass is the important part here. So we're going to now take this out and get ready. And so let's establish a baseline first. I'm going to start my timer. Uh, so at this point, start recording every 15 seconds. I haven't added the chemicals yet, but this temperature will stay pretty constant. So you are really measuring the temperature of water right now, which is 16.2 degrees Celsius. So record it every 15 seconds. The first one is coming up, so keep your eyes on the timer now. And then from now on, I'm not going to keep saying now, so keep your eyes on the timer and record it every 15 seconds. So let's keep this going for maybe like one minute, two minutes, and then we will add the chemical. You can see the temperature is pretty constant, and that's what we want as the baseline of our graph. We'll stop after like maybe one minute, 15 seconds or 30 seconds. So let's keep going till one minute, 30 seconds. So you have enough data for the baseline now. Okay, at this point, this is your last measurement. Okay, now don't make any measurements. Let's wait till I pour this in. So I'm going to pour this in and I'm going to quickly mix. So at this point, keep measuring. So your next one coming up would be two minutes. So now I can hear that there is 
solids inside of this so we cannot record uh, the final temperature yet but do record this two minutes recorded 12.7 the temperature is really dropping it's a cold pack reaction is happening The idea is to let it go down to the lowest temperature. When it starts to climb back up, we need to, we can actually stop it at that point, but it's still going down. Three minutes. Seems to me they're starting to go back up, so these trials should not take any more than like five minutes at the most. So go ahead and record, continue recording. We'll stop at five minutes. Okay, coming up, last temperature, that's it. So let's remeasure the mass. So the mass now with the solution, which is water plus the salt, is 53.83 grams, so, or 84 grams. So this is the mass that's really called the mass of solution. And so this trial is over, trial one is done. We have three more trials to do. So I'm going to stop the video and do the other trials, okay?